Hey, all right. How's it going, everybody? Uh, Frederick Freeman here. Uh, going to talk to you a little bit about uh, how VR is affecting uh, higher education and education in general. So if you give me one second, I'm going to bring up a presentation for you. All right, should be good to go. I'm gonna do a little screen share here. Sharing the screen. All right. So um, should be up. Should have screen share going. Uh, so gonna talk a little bit about the expanding role of VR in. Uh, educational space. So sorry about that. So my name is Frederick Freeman. Um, so I'm a artist, uh, educator, designer, um, working in the virtual reality, augmented reality space. Uh, so currently I'm serving as interim faculty of graphic design, web development, and virtual reality at Sam Houston State University in Texas. Um, and I, I actually work for their College of Art and Media. And I also own a boutique creative agency called Kuzu Creative House. Uh, and I serve as the co-founder of the XR Health and Humanities Lab at Sam Houston State University. Uh, let's bring this up too. So this is actually uh, my website as well. So should still be screen sharing. And what I do with uh, Nemours Children's Hospital is work on a virtual reality project. It's called CyberCell. Uh, and it's actually a project that helps educate kids with sickle cell disease uh, about their condition. So one of the main things that I do is I work with uh, helping to build the prototype. I'm in charge of um, the creative director for the project, but also work as a uh, VR designer and developer. And then I also work in the creative director capacity to help define the audio for the experience. So I think that's one of the main things that I try to focus on with the project, figure out how audio ties into uh, VR as a creation tool. Um, so if we check out a little bit of what I do, I interface with the patients, but I also work together with um, staff uh, at the hospital. Uh, so everyone from nurses to doctors to other healthcare providers, uh, people in the patient experience pipeline. Uh, and here's just a little bit about our team that are working together on this virtual reality um, patient education uh, experience. So big shout out to Ali Alvarado. Uh, she's actually the sound designer and audio designer on the, on the project. And Amy Hildenbrand, big shout out to her. She's uh, the lead on the hospital side. And also shout out to Melanie Patone. 
uh, the medical editor for helping to bring the project together to the hospital. Uh, and just a little bit of background. So the project is focused on uh, young uh, children, uh, teenagers, adolescents with sickle cell disease. So uh, a little bit background on the condition, it affects one in 365 African-Americans. Uh, they're born with sickle cell disease. It affects about one in 16,300 Hispanic Americans. And then one in 13 African-Americans have the sickle cell trait. Um, so I felt this project in general, uh, working on it was important because uh, really helps uh, underrepresented communities and technology and healthcare. So I felt like both those were important to try to highlight uh, through research. But one of the major things that I want to try to showcase today is how we're using uh, audio to help redefine uh, the experience itself. So uh, one of the major things that we are focusing on in the project is working with the patients. Uh, so actually recording the patients is part of the voiceover for the experience. So just giving you a quick little little overview of how we're using patients, um, working with patients, I should say and having them be a uh, part of the experience, uh, co-creators in the experience too. Um, so, you know, when we first started the project, we kind of started with defining a script. And then from there, uh, we figured out what we wanted the tone, the overall feeling of the project to be. Um, and then from there too, we, we incorporated um, some elements that we knew that only audio and sound could really help with. And that's like the voiceover. So I'm going to play you an example of the voiceover for the project as well. And thanks for bearing with me. It uh, took a couple minutes to get going here. So I just wanted to show that as a real quick example of how we're using audio to help drive our VR experience. And I think a lot of people, when they, they think about VR, when they think about anything that involves like, you know, um, beyond just the normal screen experience, they think like visually, they think in terms of how's it gonna look. Uh, they don't, I don't think they think in terms of what is it gonna sound like? I think that's one of the most important things that gets overlooked in general with virtual reality. Um, and actually have another project that worked on at uh, Thomas Jefferson University outside of Philadelphia. Um, and one of the major things with this is, is we also tried to focus on how audio would play a huge part in the project. Um, so actually gonna open this link real quick. It is a 4K uh, video tour of the campus that we created with a team of students. So again, big shout out to all the students who worked on the project. Uh, they're all kind of doing some amazing things right now. Uh, but what we did is we uh, did a little bit of research, researched the history of the space. Um, we did a little bit of UX research too, and a little bit of R&D research to figure out what technology would be best to create this uh, 360 tour. And then I actually had a, an artist friend that uh, donated some music. So Dirty Art Club, uh, if you're familiar, he um, makes kind of more like lo-fi beats. And we actually reached out to him and he was like, yeah, definitely, uh, we'd love to work with you on uh, this project. And he sent uh, you know, a few songs. And as far as having the songs, we voted as students and staff to be able to figure out what songs we wanted to uh, incorporate in the experience. And I'll just play a little bit of it real quick. So one of the cool things about this is we tried to pick audio that made it feel like you were going on a tour, you were going on some kind of walk, some kind of experience. Sorry. 
And this was all filmed in 4K. I'm actually gonna speed it up a little bit just to get to some of the other spots. So it's a little bit of background on the project too. Um, we interviewed students on campus and students picked their favorite spaces on campus uh, that they thought were most unique and most memorable to them uh, to be able to share with other people. So it's kind of like the idea of using virtual reality to uh, bring people to places that they've never been before. But then also too, the idea of using audio and music to create the soundtrack for it. So I think, Again, one of the main reasons we we tried to emphasize bringing audio into our projects was to uh, try to stimulate something different that you normally wouldn't have in a virtual reality experience. So I'm just kind of noticing the time too, uh, checking out and seeing what's going on here. Uh, probably got a couple minutes left. So let's... so industry meets opportunity. Again, some of the artists that I talked about today, Ali Alvarado. Um, Awesome, amazing artists have worked on a lot of augmented reality and virtual reality projects with her, not just uh, the Sickle Cell, Cyber Cell project. She actually did the background music for the project as well. She's LA based. Uh, excellent artist to reach out to and Dirty Art Club, uh, I mentioned as well. So I believe he's based in North Carolina, uh, but an amazing, amazing uh, artist too, but also amazing uh, just musician. And if you want to learn more, some ways to get involved, a little bit about, uh, I, I would check out Spatial Audio for Cinematics and 360 Video. And then just some key takeaways. Uh, turn audio into a co-creative exercise. Uh, leverage the experience of all kinds. Add audio to your UX research pipeline. Uh, start your project by asking, what is one element we can reimagine with sound? Uh, source talent through places like Bandcamp, SoundCloud, and artist websites, and always keep the tone or mood in mind to create the overall vibe that you are looking for. So that is all I have. Um, and again, too, I'd like to thank Christopher Lafayette for having me here today. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, also, I'd like to thank all the other uh, presenters who made time in their day, too, to present at this event. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, please reach out to futureforyou.com, Kuzu Creative House, uh, best way to reach me. Uh, and thank you again.